Now I know everybody went to go see <laughs> Empire last night. I know this is the hottest show that is on right now, and rightfully so. It's just I get more entertained every time I watch it. Well, last night's episode was another entertaining one. You had emotion, you had laughter, and you had war. I did, I did the Lord of the Rings thing. So welcome, guys, to another spoiler review of Empire Onto the Breach. And I'm assuming you saw the episode. These are just my thoughts. And basically what you needed to know was Lucius is going to war with another music studio with Billy. And Billy is the guy who pretty much helped Lucius in his up-and-coming career. Maybe manager, I believe. I believe. Also, we had Cookie pretty much outright, you know, exposing Anika. Anika pretty much going to Billy's side and working for Billy. And she exactly does that. Then you have, you know, pretty much Empire in a little bit of a funk. I mean, Empire is being hacked. They're being... You know, Anika pretty much gave everything to Billy, to, you know, Arsenal, to stop Lucius from growing his empire and going public. But, of course, she did not say, well, before that, she did not, you know, tell Billy his condition, his sickness, which was interesting. You know, she could have used that, but maybe she's saving it for later. Or maybe she just cares, you know, too much about Lucius to see, you know, hit him that low below, low below, behind, below, in the belt. If that makes sense. <laughs> and then we also see um, Cookie, Jamal recruiting pretty much these, you know, talent. They're, uh, Cookie's recruiting his talent, talent, telling one of the artists not to go over to the other music studio to stick with Empire. So is Jamal. Jamal's trying, trying to sign this lovely lady. I believe, his, I believe her name is Delphine. Delphine? Delphine? Uh, she's up and coming, rising star, and Empire signing her would be a big deal. And they have a nice little duet in the episode as well. And also, you got Hakeem basically and Cookie trying to get uh, Tiana, uh, Tiana to stay in Empire and not go over to the dark side. And they come to a, pretty much an agreement for her to stay in Empire. And they, they too have a nice duet at the end. But then you also have Andre and his also his pretty much. Troubles with his bipolar, not taking his pills, really fighting over the company, really just acting the fool because, you know, he's bipolar, I guess. And then him getting stuck with in the elevator with his brothers was also something. Then he also had Jamal still with the gay thing with his dad. His dad's still not feeling it. And, yeah, Cookie with Malcolm. Hmm. And, of course, you have Lucius against Billy. So a lot of things are heading into these upcoming episodes. I thought it was a great episode. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the music. We had another rendition of You're So Beautiful with pretty much Jamal, Hakeem, Tiana, Cookie, and Lucius. Cookie and Lucius performed the song as well. It's like hustle and flow. Very much enjoy the music on tonight's episode. I'd really like that. I even like Jamal's and Delphine's. Uh, what's Delphine? Uh, the up and coming artist chick that he's trying to sign. Their duet. I like that as well. They really have great voices, both of them. I think Jamal got signed to a record label. That's a, what my siblings say. I really did. I really enjoyed Cookie. Cookie and straight out at the beginning of the episode. I thought I didn't think it was gonna take you know be that soon when she outs Anika on what she, you know her play with Billy. Did not think that was gonna happen so soon. But she straight out says she a rat. She you know kick her out, kick her out pretty much. And then when she gets you know she goes to that one rap artist, she pretty much says you know what? Why are you gonna go over there? And why are you drinking that? purple stuff that's some weenie shit and then she's taking shots after shots with them and she's getting all drunk cookie cookie you're crazy cookie <laughs> you're crazy cookie's awesome and then cookie of course being so drunk and then malcolm making sure that she's fine and then she's just you know she gets almost robbed and then malcolm's there to kick some ass and save the day that's malcolm for you to head of security <laughs> And pretty much, uh, Cookie's like, oh, my hero. Spread your legs, pretty much. Do me in the car. That, ah, uh, Cookie's just too much, man. She was, she was ready to, she was pouncing on Malcolm right away. I guess Lucius is definitely in the, you know, Lucius is basically getting his. I guess Cookie believes she can get his, hers as well. So that was funny. You know those two are going to hook up because you see in the previous episode, or in the next episode, I think those two 
It's going to add some more drama. Lucius is definitely going to get more jealous. But how much more time does Lucius have on the show? That's what I want to know. Does he have two more seasons left? Does he have maybe maybe a shocker one more season? Maybe at the end of this season. Who knows? I don't think uh, Terrence Howard should be on the show for too long. Maybe add a little bit more drama. Even though I love him as an actor and as his character. But who knows? Who knows? I mean, if he's in for two more seasons, I'm, all, I'm on, on board still. But it's going to be interesting once he starts getting really sick. And once that Empire is going to have to go to somebody. Probably Cookie. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... I really liked Andre's moments too, the emotion. Like I said, Andre, and he I think the actor said it himself, he's not necessarily a villain. He's somebody just misunderstood. He does have this, you know, this is a condition that people do are bipolar and do take pills to settle it. But just uh, Andre's character as a whole, I think he, I'm telling you, he feels like he's the one left out. He feels like he's unwanted. I mean, even I haven't really even seen too much interaction with Cookie and him i really loved the interaction even though it was stuck in the elevator i loved the interaction between his brothers he was getting the fight with them at first and then they all you know they all start singing uh that one song you are my sunshine so, you know you are my sunshine and he starts singing along i absolutely love that moment i think it was great i love to see these three brothers together i want more of the interaction between these three brothers because that's what really what i wanted to see i want to see these three brothers because it, it's crazy man you, you they're kind of when you in the show they're kind of separate or either it's Jamal Hakim, it's never Andre and Hakim alone. It's never Andre and Jamal alone. Now it's time. You know, I really loved that moment. I thought it was great. And, you know, Lucius, <clears throat> Lucius basically having him sent away for what, what I believe it was, I thought they said 40 hours, but it might be 40 days to, you know, just to get better, to pretty much go back, you know, to his old self, to really just get him some help. His wife signed the paper and said, having him get some help. That's gonna be great. Him and Jennifer Hudson. No, him and Je- him and Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be very interesting. So uh, I, I can't wait to see where they take Andre's character from here. How much of uh, kind of like re- rehabilitation he gets. It's gonna be very. I really like this. I like this character. I think he's a dick. He's a dick. He's a dick using his wife, you know, to be a prostitute and stuff. Not a prostitute, but pretty much sleeping around was a dick move. But uh, I think there's more to this character, and hopefully Empire explores it. Also, I love Jamal, you know, pretty much keep going, saying he's going to tell his dad, listen, you better put your shit aside. We're signing this woman. We're going to sign her. This is the right move. Whatever, you're still pissed. At me coming out, fine, whatever. We're signing her, though. Put your emotions aside. We're losing the battle. We need to win the war. We need to sign her. And that's exactly what Lucius does. She go, He goes for that meeting. I, absolutely, I thought that was cool. You know, she was a big fan of Lucius. And then, you know, when they do their duet at the very end as well, uh, beautiful. Uh, that's I really like that song. I really, I really like every rendition of that song, even the sad, you know, Taraja P. Henson one where, she's, when she's in a jail cell. Uh, really good, really good stuff. Really great, you know. Empire is really full of emotion, full of comedy because of Cookie, Cookie, and Portia. Portia was in here as well. Portia did. Uh, I believe she's she's the one that outed Anika. I believe so. I don't know if I paid attention to the part, but uh, yeah, it was great to see Portia back in here, and. Um, Overall, just, you know, a very entertaining, very great episode. Another solid episode. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. I want to. I thought that was. I thought it was so unnecessary though when Lucius went to go face uh, went face to face with Billy and they all drew their guns. I was like, why are they drawing their guns out in public where all these cars could see? There's no way they're going to shoot at each other. And I think they even mentioned that like we're we're out in public or whatever. You're not going to shoot me or something like that. But uh, I did like the dialogue in this as well. I did like how, uh, especially Lucius going against Billy in his dialogue. I liked how pretty much Anika didn't, you know, is not the type that sleeps around and like shoot that one dude away. She's like, I'm trying to keep it professional, bitch. Pretty much. So uh, overall, I really, uh, I like Anika. I really think Anika, you know, she's just been, you know, kind of 
even though she's maybe a little bit more for the money and Empire, I think she does generally care about Lucius and everybody else, especially when Hakeem went up to her and like distracted her while Cookie was uh, talking to uh, Tiana, Tiana. Tiana? Damn, I can't say her name. Tiana. And, um, you know, she says, you know, I, I'm sorry. It's just I can't put up with Lucius anymore. And it felt like, you know, and then when Hakeem really saying, oh, but you're still my family and them hugging. I mean, I, I really think Anika's, you know, a sincere, sincerely, you feel bad for her for all the situations that Lucius does put her put her in. She's very smart and stuff. And then with Cookie coming along, you know, she had no chance really because you know Lucius still loves Cookie and all and all. But overall, great episode. Can't wait to see what else happens. Good music tonight. I mean, last night, good duet duets uh, with Jamal and Delphine. Um, of course, with <clears throat> oh, there was that one chick too who sang. Yeah, with Billy, she was kind of bald headed. She did. She had. She had a too not too bad voice. And then there was a rapper guy that Cookie went to go see. That I wasn't really feeling that song. But overall, good job, good job, Empire. You're, you're starting to be one of the most entertaining shows on right now. I wouldn't say you're number one, but you also have Better Call Saul, and then you also have Star Wars Rebels that just ended epically so we'll see we'll see at that empire was great we'll can't wait for the next episode so thank you guys for listening subscribe like let me know your thoughts on what you think is gonna happen who's your you know what you, what do you think about the whole andre situation the whole war thing against this other music studio billy and just overall your know, overall thoughts and how you're feeling about empire now that we're in what nine episodes in or something like that maybe a little bit more nine episodes in let me know thank you guys for listening and i am out